After the media leaves and after all the attention dies down, what's the future for us? A town in the spotlight now, hoping they aren't forgotten later. People want their community back. They want to see Norfolk Southern take care of what it's promised. We want this to be a comeback. We don't want this to be where we fade away. But right now, the attention is still on East Palestine and its recovery from this month's train derailment. Senator Sherrod Brown visited there again today to talk to community members about what they need to move forward. The EPA is also still in town overseeing the cleanup and removal of the contaminated soil and water. It's a process that has proven to be quite the controversy. Now, the contaminated materials were being hauled away to disposal companies in Deer Park, Texas and Belleville, Michigan, until people in those states found out about it. Now those contaminants are being rerouted to sites right here in Ohio, including in East Liverpool, Vickery and Grafton, as well as a facility in Rochdale, Indiana. They need to make us aware of what they're putting in the ground and what it could do to us. Now, just like the towns in Texas and Michigan, a small farming community in Sandusky County is feeling blindsided after finding that liquid hazardous waste from East Palestine is on its way there. And News 5 investigator Tara Morgan has been tracking this all from the beginning. We're talking about the trail derailments mm -hmm. and even that chemical burn. And Tara, I know that you went and talked to these people in Victory. What are they saying? Right. They are not happy about this at all. They said no one gave them a heads up. They either found out through the grapevine or on the news and today want answers from the EPA and the company that's taking in the liquid hazardous waste from East Palestine. Vickery is mostly farmland. There's a post office, volunteer fire department, a few taverns and Vickery Environmental. I would say we've had an uneasy coexistence. John Steger lives a mile and a half from the facility. He's also the Townsend Township trustee chair. I have contended for many, many years that at least at the county level, we should have some sort of log or some sort of uh, notification when waste is coming in like, like this. The federal EPA is allowing Norfolk Southern to send some of the contaminated liquid to Vickery Environmental. The Sandusky County EMA says Vickery will receive about three to four loads of overflow water per day. Deborah Shore said it would be disposed of in an underground injection well. I'd say most of the residents aren't real happy about it. Daryl Moore has lived in Vickery for more than three decades, an avid hunter and fisherman. I want to know what, if it does leak, we should look for as far as health hazards, uh, what we should look for in our wild animals in case they get into it somewhere. Yeah, just not right. It's just because we live out in the country, whatever, that you know, they didn't get away with it, but they're like, oh, we'll send it up to Vickery. Steger says he first heard about the hazardous shipments to Vickery in an article he read late last Friday. I was a little upset that we weren't informed. My phone has been ringing ever since Friday afternoon. He also has a list of concerns, including haul routes, whether the trucks are inspected first, and the liquid waste itself, especially being so close to Sandusky Bay. And is that going to migrate to the surface? And if it does, where is it going to migrate to the surface? Shore said the facilities receiving the solid and liquid waste are EPA certified, have been evaluated, and found to be acceptable to take the waste, but said they don't have the capability to handle all of it, so they are looking for more places. We will not be notifying for every single shipment. That's going to be too many. Vickery Environmental would not answer my specific questions, rather said this statement, quote, Vickery Environmental places the health and safety of our local community at the forefront of all operations, making safety a core value without compromise while operating under the strict oversight and permitting of the Ohio EPA and U.S. EPA. What we want is information. I don't know whether we can stop it or curtail it, but we can at least have the knowledge of what's going on out there and what we need to do. And Steger says some people want Vickery Environmental shut down, while others feel if that happens, it'll lead to more problems if not monitored, but also says people in the community work there, so it's their livelihood. Very nice story, Tara. So we have to ask you, what's the next step for the community now? Well, Steger tells me he is in the process right now of setting up a community meeting with neighboring townships, Sandusky County, the state and federal EPA, and state rep Click. I'm News 5 investigator Tara Morgan.